Welcome back, Elf William here, and welcome to another Ponderous Wednesday. Now, this is the last Wednesday before Christmas, but uh, instead of doing a Christmas-themed episode, today we are going to be having a look at the Royal Mint Luna series, as I've just taken delivery of the zombie dog, as I call it, uh, the new Luna dog. And I guess kind of today's overarching theme and topic is going to be all about uh, this series and how, in my opinion, the Royal Mint has um, dropped the ball quite considerably and how they continue to get it quite so wrong uh, is a little bit staggering, but hey-ho. Now, remember, these are just my opinions and thoughts. If you have different, differing thoughts and opinions, I would love to hear them. Please do comment in this video, but remember, please be respectful of mine and other people's views as well. So the latest coin is out, the Year of the Dog, and we'll get to that in a moment. That's going to form the majority of this video, but I just wanted to go through a quick recap of the other coins that are in the series. So let's have a look back at where it all started, which was the Lunar Horse. Now, when I started stacking silver back at the end of 2015, uh, I picked up some of the Lunar Sheep, and I also decided at that time that it would be a good idea to kind of just jump back one year and backdate for the Lunar Horse as well, because it was a new series. Uh, and I thought it would be good to get in relatively, uh, well, at the start of the series, not too expensive to backdate at the time. Uh, so I picked up the Year of the Horse and the Year of the Sheep in that first year. And, you know, at the time, I thought they were okay. They were, you know, pretty nice coins. They've got uh, the horse on there, which is okay. It's nothing special. But when you have a bit of a closer look and an examination of it, it just looks a little bit weird. The horse is kind of a little bit, you know, odd in the way it looks in its head, and its belly is quite big, and... Yeah, the tail's a little bit out of proportion, and it just kind of seems like it's flying across somewhere. I don't know, really. It looks like it's a little bit out of place. And, um, you know, that that's fine, and, you know, people kind of thought, well, that's just the, the theme and the design of the coins that they're going for. So then we've got the the Year of the Sheep here, and, uh, and this is, you know, not a step in the right direction, in my opinion. You know, the sheep uh, and the ram, yeah, they don't really look that great. You've got the kind of the swirly pattern down at the bottom underneath the ram, but uh, I don't really get a lot of energy and, uh, and, and you know, an imagination out of this design. I think it's a bit lacklustre. You know, they've attempted a little bit of texture on this, uh, on, on the U over here, but it's really just, looks like someone's almost just scratched a little bit into the design, not really ticking a lot of boxes. Uh, you know, and on the other side of all of these coins as well, they've just got Queenie and, uh, you know, it's just not that great. And as you can tell from me just hand, handling these in bare hands, I really don't care too much about the condition of these coins anymore. Um, then we had the Year of the Monkey, and it was a kind of a step in the right direction, I guess, because the Year of the Monkey at least had a little bit more energy about it, a little bit more background going on with the tree, and it looked okay. And I and I sort of decided to pick it up anyway because you know I, I was felt I was a little bit committed to the series. I had the first two already, and it made sense to get it just as part of a collection, part of a, almost like the date run and the collection. Uh, but when you look at it a little bit closer, there's really not. I mean, you can't even tell where the face of the monkey is. Where you know where are the eyes? It just really difficult to see and it's got a big pot belly and yeah it just doesn't really fill me with a great sense of and look, the hands are weird it just looks like you know some five-year-old child's drawn it in my opinion but um yeah maybe that's still the sort of theme that they're going for i guess that might explain why the the horse and the sheep look not so great then along came the rooster and i have to say that this was a good step in the right direction and uh, they've kind of gone with a different theme of design for this now if you look uh, back at sort of the other coins, you know, they've got a solid kind of, here you go, you've got a solid design, solid 3D design of the monkey and it's just standing out from the coin. Whereas with the uh, with the rooster, they've kind of created it by having all of these individual uh, kind of raised parts of the coin. Uh, but, you know, the base of the coin is still kind of that, you can see like in the in the chicken's breast there area, the, the feathers, they are just kind of a 3D outline, which is cool and I liked that. And I have to say, I think this rooster is the favourite for me out of the series so far. Um, it's certainly not anything compared with the Lunar Rooster from Rwanda or the Perth Mint Roosters and the Perth Mint Lunar Coins just continue to impress year upon year. So uh, yeah, Rooster, well done in my opinion. Uh, you know, we had a slightly different back as well. We have this kind of speckled finish back, so things were definitely going in the right direction uh, for the Royal Mint Lunar Series. So I was happy with that one and uh, decided to pick that up because I, I liked the way it looked. Um, but that is kind of where the good news ended, because uh, at the end of 2017, the Royal Mint announced and showed off their new design for the Year of the Dog. And here we have it, the zombie dog. And, uh, I mean, it hurts my eyes to look at it, it really does. Anyway, so look, 
2018, Year of the Dog, really exciting year for me and Mrs Backyard Bullion. We are big dog lovers, I really do uh, have a soft spot for dogs and uh, we've had dogs all of our lives growing up, both when we were children and uh, in fact now as well. So we were really excited to see what designs were going to be out there for the Year of the Dog for the Lunar series and uh, you know we, we were very impressed with the Perth Mint Lunar Dog, we both really love the Rwanda Lunar Dog, but then when this one came out... Uh, it just doesn't look good. It's just, I think, really, I don't know, it, it just doesn't look like a dog. I mean, what breed of dog is that meant to be? It's just not attractive. And I, gosh knows what's going on with the background. I mean, when you put it next to all of the other coins, and let's sort of zoom out and have it compared against all the other coins again, you can see that there's a very distinct difference in design and feel. So, I don't, I mean, I haven't even bothered to have a look up at the particulars of it in terms of who was the designer and everything, and I'm sure that person is maybe burying his head in the sand a little bit. But, you know, in terms of a lunar series, like the Perth Mint lunar series, we've got a consistent theme, a consistent look, a, con a consistent feel across all of the coins that we've seen so far. On this lunar series, it's continuing to evolve and change. So, you know, we've got the sort of the bland looking uh, horse and sheep. We've then got the slightly more energetic and exciting monkey with the same kind of feel and design of those ones. Then we've got an interesting looking rooster with a slightly changed up design. And then we've got this completely wacky, outside the box, lunar dog. Um, and it, it, it is quite annoying really because as a collector I like things that match. I like having a collection that matches and I love the Perth Mint um, lunar series. They all, as I said, consistency is really important and it does look good. The Rwandan Lunar series has a similar theme to that kind of mosaic background, and those look really good. You know, they, they've got some real energy about them and the way that they look. Now, here you can see that it's just changing. It's changing every year, and I have no clue what they're going to come up with next year for the year of the pig. So, um, yeah, I don't really understand how the Royal Mint can get it so wrong, because the Royal Mint really are a very good coin producer and designer. They have done many many things in the past which have been absolutely gorgeous. I mean 2017 has been a good year for them in terms of some of the designs that they've brought out. It's also been a pretty bad year I would guess so you know you've got the, the sort of proof Britannia there with that really ugly design and uh, yeah 2018's not got off to the best start if this is the kind of the first coin that's come out for 2018 uh, that's going to be of interest it's just not that great. Now one thing I have to say in its defence it does look better in person than it did on their website or in the pictures uh, of various dealers that are out there. So if you were on the fence about it, and I would say, it, you know, if you were, if you like it but you're not sure, you're probably going to like it a little bit more uh, if you get it in person. It does look okay in terms of the, uh, you know, if we just take the dog out of the way, the, I do quite like this kind of background design. It's quite exciting, um, but the dog just could have been done better. It looks like it's been scratched up as well. You know, it looks like it's been... It, it, do you know what it looks like? It looks like it's been skinned alive. It looks like it's had all of its skin peeled off and you can see all of its kind of muscle and uh, sinew and everything just rolling around there. Not so not so good. Uh, and here's another thing which I think is a little bit... Um, it's getting old now. So they've put this kind of swirly design on the back of the coin and we first saw this on the 2017 anniversary edition and they're now using this on every single coin that they seem to be releasing. It's coming out on the Queen's Beasts 10 ounce coins, the new Queen's Beast 2 ounce coins as well. It's coming out on the new Britannias, the anniversary Britannias. Uh, it just seems like they've hit the, the nail on the head with it a little bit, but they're in danger, I think, of basically getting it a little bit too stale and a little bit too old. So uh, Royal Mint, if you do watch, if somebody from the Royal Mint ever deems to watch my channel, watch this video, uh, please understand that I'm a big fan of the Royal Mint in general. And I'm a big fan of the, you know, the, the coins that you make. Uh, but this is basically constructive criticism. I do not like this Royal Mint Lunar series. Uh, I'll be on the fence as to whether to pick them up in the future. To be honest, the only reason that I will pick these up is to basically make YouTube videos on them. So I'll be picking them up to feature them, picking them up to critique them. Uh, hopefully maybe even picking them up to actually celebrate them if they start getting a little bit better than the old ones that are out there at the moment. But it's certainly not filling me with confidence in terms of what's left to come in the remaining seven coins of this series. Only time is going to tell whether or not it's going to continue down a slippery slope to absolute garbage or whether it's going to actually improve and we're going to see some more aesthetically pleasing coins. 
But do comment on this video on your thoughts. It'd be very cool to find out what you guys think about this set, about these coins, and uh, especially on the zombie dog as well. If you like this video, please put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media. That would be very helpful indeed. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you hit the little alarm bell, you'll get a notification when I upload future videos, such as the exciting vlogs which I've got to share with you guys over the coming weekend in the build-up to Christmas. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been to Estonia to pick up some of the silver shot from the European Mint, and it is going to be a very, very cool vlog. Otherwise, all that's left for me to say is we have five more sleeps to Christmas, so I wish you all a fantastic holiday season, and in the build-up to Christmas, Merry Christmas all. Otherwise, all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.